and a good day all of you. John Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Today we're looking at Rated River Hoppy by Nature IPA. 6% ABV. Very humid day here in Mobile. Of course, the brewery is based in Mobile. On St. Louis Street, um, one of four breweries. Uh, Serta is one. Old Majestic, Braided River, of course, um, Iron Hand, and I believe Haint Blue is still in existence, but then again, maybe not. Just one of those things, so. But uh, I think I still see some of their beers out there, but I don't know if they put out a new batch recently, but. Our take of an IPA built for the Gulf Coast region. And I'm in the Gulf Coast. Hot, hot, hot. So here's what the beer looks like. Nice for our break for frost top, as you can see. Mild, very fragrant. Pretty floral, if you ask me. Getting a hint of a little mango and a little pineapple. More mango than anything. Definitely some percent of the grapefruit. Sure, probably one of the traditional most obvious hops that usually be in there. Cascade, Mosaic, uh, Citra hops. I'm sure. Here we go. More grapefruity than anything. smell the mango, but I'm not getting any mango flavor in this right away. Nice, clean, decent. Very much on point. Um, IPAs are. You know, I'm kind of particular about IPAs what I drink. Um, you know, I think all of them are good. Some are good, some are, um, can be bland or very, you know, lackluster. I mean, as I mentioned, Goose Island and Lagunitas are the ones I, I really prefer drinking often. But, but lately, I've uh, becoming more consuming a lot of these Imperial IPAs that I find very, very good. Stronger the better, I say. Nine percent, you know, twelve percent. You know. uh, let's see, Lafrique was a Belgian style IPA. We're out of Green Green Flash Brewery, um, out of Catlaw, California, I believe it is. That was excellent. I really enjoyed that one a lot. So, um. Obviously, the pandemic has really kind of hurt a lot of people. Uh, this this bar, Greater River, the brewery, and also there's a they have a um, brew pub inside. But obviously, since the pandemic and it opened last year, but since the pandemic, uh, really kind of hurt a lot of businesses. A lot of businesses have to shut down. On the curbside delivery, they could only do, and basically that that's just kind of how it was. Unfortunately, there was not much that really could have been done or can be done to, you know, get things going. But recently, obviously, with new measures being placed, 
as of the last month or so. Now, most of these bars have come back, but at limited capacity. Um, they're not packing them in at, at some places, so. So, so far, it's kind of worked out to the advantage of, of, of this brewery. And sort of been the same way as well for many breweries. Not just in the state, but everywhere across the country. These brew pubs, you know, these restaurants, all of them have been really hit hard by this. So, um, hospitality. But things seem to be coming back. And um, despite what some naysayers, particularly the president, say it's going to go away. Um, I think this thing's going to be around. I want to be positive about this, but we'll... If not, then you know, we just have to accept for what it is. And um, that we just got to take extra precaution in how we handle and deal with our, how we interact with each other. Um, death, people who've died from this thing has been very tough. It's hit close to home to me. I've had several friends, uh, not death-wise, but several friends who've had it and it said to me, hey, listen, this shit is real. So, literally, take precaution. Cover yourself, protect yourself. And that's what I've done. And I'm really but haven't really gone out on much of anything. I've been mostly hanging in my little place here and going to work and handling errands here and there, but that's about it. So, the new normal, the new world we're living in. So, it's tough, guys. It's real tough. But, anyway, but beer continues to be made, continues to be produced. And this one, born on date, is 520. Uh, well, we're in August now, so. Four months behind. Yeah. May, June, July, all so four months behind. So we're, but it's still fresh, still tastes good. <laughs> yeah. Please, supermarkets, gotta rotate your stock, please. But um, again, uh, Brady River of many beers, not only in the Mobile, Mobile area, but also um, here in Mobile, Alabama, of course, Fairhope, and then throughout the state. I mentioned good people, straight to ale, back 40 really good beers being produced here in Alabama. Top notch. That I that I could, could match it with some of the other breweries that are not only in their respective states, but also have even gone national. Um, uh, whether it be Tennessee, Georgia, you know, you know, the Carolinas, whatever. You know. um, hopefully, this, these beers will expand itself not only throughout the state, not just Maybe go across state lines into Georgia, into Florida, into Mississippi, you know, Tennessee. One can only see, one can only hope. So, All right, a good IPA, not a great, but good enough IPA. So I will go with the score of a. Um, it's not bland. I'm. Mean, it's just. It's good. So I'm gonna go with B score. So that would be 8.4, 8.5 for the Braided River Hop. Hoppy by Nature IPA. Great Riff Brewing here in Mobile. Try it out. John Anderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Braided River. Braided.